Hey, welcome to another episode of UEN PD TV. I'm Michael Hackerinen, and I'm really excited to be here with Cindy Allen at Spring Creek Middle School. And Cindy, I guess I can say you're one of my students, right? Yes, I am. Cindy, you took one of our Canvas classes from UEN, and now you've been using Canvas for how long now? Eight months. Eight months. Mm -hmm. And uh, your kids are just really loving it, right? Yeah. What is it that kids like so much about Canvas? You know, kids are just digital geniuses, I think. If I give them a textbook, I hear the moans and groans, but if I give them a Chromebook and it's got the same exact thing on Canvas, they love it. They type in the answers, it tells them if they got it correct right away, or if, and I'll always give them a second chance so mm -hmm. they can respell, they can rethink, they just love it. That's fantastic. So every one of your students in your classroom has a Chromebook mm -hmm. and they can access all of their Canvas content that you put on for them. Mm -hmm. When you first started using Canvas, uh, what was your like biggest challenge? What was the hard part getting started? The hard part for me was just organizing it just because you don't know from the beginning to the end of the year how many Canvas lessons you'll have. Wow. I just fell in love with it. I have 400 Canvas lessons right now. Just this far in the school year, I just love it. So you've been designing 400 Canvas lessons. Oh yeah. Do you do that as well as writing a lesson plan or is this kind of becoming your lesson plan It is tool? my lesson plan. I love it because it keeps it organized. I'll organize things by standards now. I finally learned mm -hmm. to keep it in order by standards and then I just give each assignment a page number and it's kept it organized for me. So for example, today I taught about DNA and tonight I'll go home and I know I'll have a great idea for next year. Okay. And so Canvas gives me a place to put that great idea so that next year as I come down the list, I won't miss it. And just think about next year, if you're teaching oh, yeah. the same content, you've already got all of your lessons made, so you can just pick up where you left off, yep. make some improvements. Um, what about for your students? Like when your students first started using Canvas, was there any like kind of like learning time or do they have to step out of their comfort zone? How did your students take the Canvas? I thought I would have to train them how to use it. They jumped right on and used it. No mm -hmm. problems at all. They're better at it than me. Really? Yeah, you don't if find I get yourself, stuck, I ask them for help. You don't have to do a Canvas training for your students. Mm -mm. You just showed them where content was and they took right to it. Mm -hmm. And what grade do you have again? Seventh grade. Fantastic. Yeah. Great. So it sounds like you've had a lot of experience with Canvas in this short period of time. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite thing about Canvas? If you had to pick something as mm. a favorite. I have like four main favorites. Okay. Okay, so one of them is that Canvas um, will correct the kids' work. Mm -hmm. And it sounds lazy, but if you think about having 200 students, and if you spend one minute per student, that's three hours. Right. And one minute's pretty quick to correct an assignment. So Canvas will correct it for me and put it in my grade book. And that gives me all that time so that I can analyze the data. Mm -hmm. And then I know how to intervene with the kids. I can set up intervention. I have more time to plan and see who needs extra help rather than just writing out, you know, putting stuff into a, a right. grading program. And you get that feedback, that data, right mm -hmm. then while you're doing the exactly. lesson. So you're talking about interventions you can do on the spot, yep. not days or weeks later. Exactly, and it's self-intervening for the kids. If I give them two attempts at a lesson, right. they go back and fix it. That's awesome. It's great. Okay, so you like the time that you can save with grading. Mm -hmm. Your students are more engaged, and you told us about organization. Tell us a little bit about how Canvas works for the kids who miss school or maybe are on vacation. That is like, that might be my top favorite. I don't know, I have a lot of top favorites on this. So when kids um, they'll miss like a week mm -hmm. if they're sick or on family vacation, and they'll come back to me a week later and say, Mrs. Allen, what do we do on Monday? I was gone. And I'm right in the middle of teaching all these other students and my mind isn't on what happened last Monday. So I can say, check your grades, and whatever's missing, go to that number on Canvas. So like lesson 400, if it's missing, they go on Canvas, look at lesson 400. The video's there, our science lab is there, worksheets are there, everything they need is right there. That's fantastic. It's huge, I love that. A kid can just get caught up like within the same day and be back with the rest of the group ready to go. Yeah, or if they're sick at home, they could do it at home. So it sounds like you've got great things happening in Canvas. You've got Edpuzzle in there and videos. Uh, would it be all right if we check with your students and ask them what they personally like about Canvas and maybe see some of this work in action? That's awesome, let's do it. Okay.
So I'm here with Annie, who is a seventh grader in Miss mm -hmm. Allen's class, and mm -hmm. she's been using Canvas with you this year. Yeah. What is it you uh, like about Canvas? What I like is that if I don't understand what she explained the first time, that I can always go and it has the instructions on Canvas. And also, if you get it the first time, you don't have to listen to her explain it every time someone has a question. Plus, if you're homesick and you don't get to do the assignment while you're at school, it's really easy to understand what you're doing from home. So has Canvas changed the way you do homework as well as how you learn in school? Yes. You access Canvas when you get home? Yeah. Oh great, is that easy for you to do or did it take some while to get used to? Well, it was a little different at first, but I got used to it really quick since it's easy to use. Isaac, I see that you and your, your friends are all watching videos, but are you watching the same video or different videos? I think we're watching the same video. But how come they're all on different screens and what are these little tags down here do? How does your teacher use videos in the classroom? Because it's able so that, we're, so that we can go on our own pace and we can, so each of these after we go through a certain amount in the video, then we answer a question and if we don't understand it we can uh, re-watch the section that we just watched so that we make sure that we know oh, what so is in that. You're like taking a quiz while you watch the video? Yes. What happens if you get something wrong? then it will tell you, it will redo the part that you just watched so that you know that you understand it. Great. Do you prefer doing homework on Canvas or would you rather be reading out of a book? Canvas. Why? Because it just seems uh, a lot nicer to do it on a computer hmm. than in a book because it's a lot easier to just scroll through instead of flip through pages. It just seems a lot easier. Do you get feedback or do you ever see your grades in Canvas? Yes, when you go into Canvas, the teacher can write a little note to you saying like what you need to work on or what you missed on in a, a test that you did an assignment. Does it take a long time to get your grades back, like a couple days or? No, you could probably do it in maybe half an hour because on Canvas it makes it really easy for you to know what you need to fix because awesome. you don't have to walk up to the teacher and ask what you're doing and then they'll have to look up the assignment on the computer, things like that. When you grow up, do you want to be a scientist? Yes. <laughs> do you think you'll be using computers more as a scientist or? Probably computers because they're the future and they're going to help people a lot, I think. Actually, Isaac, you're the future. Cindy, we've seen some amazing things in your classroom. There's amazing stuff happening with Canvas and your kids are really into it, but really none of this would happen if it wasn't for your awesome teaching, which is fantastic. Thank you for sharing with us and letting us be here. You're Thanks. great. Thank you for all that you do. And if you want to take some classes like Cindy took on our Canvas and blended learning and Edpuzzle tools, things like that, be sure to go to our uen.org website and hover on the purple menu over top of professional development. You can go there and register for one of our courses at Go Sign Me Up or even request a presentation for your school. Thanks again for joining us for an episode of UEN PD TV. Cindy, thank you for having us. Hey, thanks for being my teacher. It's you my, were awesome. It's my pleasure. I've learned from you just as much uh, and look forward to using some of the great things you're doing in our upcoming Canvas classes. Thanks for watching. <laughs>